Crown Zenith isn't over yet, guys. Two brand new boxes just dropped. The Morpico V Union Premium Collection and the three pack pin collections. Now inside of the Morpico box, you're gonna find five packs of Crown Zenith, four cards that combine to make the Morpico V Union card, a jumbo version of the card, and this awesome Marnie and Morpico playmat. They also dropped the pin collections, three variants featuring Inteleon, Rillaboom, and Cinderace. Each one comes with three packs of Crown Zenith and one of these awesome pins. Now there's some holes in my Crown Zenith binder and one big card that I still need to pull, so let's rip into these packs. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the show. Drop a like on this video if you can, and if you haven't already, follow the channel by hitting that totally free subscribe button. Crown Zenith is still here, and I've still got a bunch that I need to pull. Let's start off with this more Pico V Union box. I keep wanting to call it the Marnie box, because that's kind of what everybody's calling it, but you're gonna get these awesome V Union more Pico cards here. Let's take a look at them just one by one, kind of close up. I know you can't really see the whole image. I'll hold the jumbo up after this, but honestly, these are pretty cool. I mean, the playmat added to it, usually the V-Union boxes are like something that I skip or, you know, just get one of, but these are pretty, pretty cool. Even for a jumbo, you guys know me, I'm always kind of like talking trash about jumbo cards, saying there should be something better in there than jumbos, but for a jumbo, this is pretty cool. The color on it is really awesome. The image is pretty cool too. Let's set this aside. We'll set all of our more, more Pico, more Peco, more Peca Pico. We'll set all the V-Union cards over here. Here is the code for you. Bam, get you everything that comes inside of there, which I think should be that V Union and maybe one of the Professor Burnett promos. Five packs of Crown Zenith. I'm looking for that gold Arceus today. I still need the gold Palkia as well, but I feel like that one I could end up just like trading for or something. The Arceus I really want to pull. We've got the Purloin, Grubbin, Skrelp, Helioptile, and Zacian V in the first pack. Another one that I needed in the binder. Can we double it up? with a Pikachu, a Charizard V. Okay, I'll take that. Definitely need some more of those alternate art Pikachus. I never get tired of pulling those, and it's really fun to be able to trade them out. But Zacian V, let's drop you into the sleeve. Galarian Gallery is so cool. Honestly, I'm kind of sad to see it go. I'm assuming we'll get something similar in the next uh, sets for Scarlet and Violet. Maybe not Paldea Evolved, but I'm guessing like maybe third or fourth set we'll see something cool like that but first pack magic definitely definitely fair to say first pack magic on the more Pekka pico box let's see if we can go two in a row two pack magic gum shoes and zashian v star one that i've already got in the binder but this is why i love crown zenith so much it's just it's the set that keeps on giving i feel like i've gotten more pulls from crown zenith than like all of the other sword and shield sets combined somehow obviously that's not completely true but it's how it feels and it just feels really good to like you know open packs and actually feel like you're getting something for once we've got pancham snow runt ponard they reverse dark energy hiding yan mega for the reverse bam there's a code for you i'll still drop the energy into a sleeve it's a hollow energy everybody loves hollow energies can't get enough hollow energies. Two packs left from the more Pico box here though. I'm willing to say it was a success. Even if there's nothing like big time crazy in here, adding to the binder is always a win for me. We got the Altaria, which I can't remember. I'm gonna have to check, but I don't think this one is in the binder either. And a Whale Lord for the hollow. There's the code. Let's drop the Altaria into a sleeve. But this is what I mean. It's just, it feels like back to back pulls with Crown Zenith, and I still got all of those pin boxes to open too. Last pack magic from the more Pekka Pico Marnie collection box. Let's see, I've already been a lot in this. If there's another Galarian Gallery in here, or anything else, I'll be really stoked. We got Mewtwo for the reverse, and Executor for the rare. That's okay though, this box was fire. Bam, there's the code for you. Let's get into all of these pin collections. And I probably am not gonna open the entire case. I think I'm gonna do about half of it. Let's start off with this Rillaboom one right here. I'm a little sad that they went with this style instead of the older uh, like Champion's Pack and Shining Fates style of the pin boxes. I thought those were cool, but these are awesome. And they remind me of just three pack blisters. And you know how much I love three pack blisters, even if the last round of them was pretty brutal. But like, how do you open this? Okay, let's see. 
All right, that wasn't as bad as I thought. When I was looking at these, filming the intro, I was like, man, they really like, really sealed these in there. There's the code for you. Get you this Rillaboom promo, and it is a promo. It's not just a hollow remake of a card that was already in a set, and the Rillaboom pin. Pretty cool, really nice way to end off Sword and Shield, and three packs of cards. Now, like I said, my first round of uh, Scarlet and Violet three-pack blisters was very, very brutal. So let's see if I can get at least like one nice Galarian Gallery like alt art or special, special Galarian Gallery rare. I can't even remember what they're calling them. We've got Oddish, Seal, and Riolu. Pretty sure I already have this one, but this is one that combines with nine, eight other cards to make the full image. Riolu and Oranguru for the rare. Bam. We'll still drop you into a sleeve though. I think I'm going to end up having to trade for the rest of those to complete the image. And it's one I really want to, I want to kind of finish that before even the rest of the Galarian Gallery. And once I have the whole Galarian Gallery in there, I'll probably rearrange the page that those are on. Oh no, did I pull, I somehow left just the code in there. I'll probably rearrange the page uh, that those cards are on so that you can see that full image. It's not really numbered the right way. And Radiant Charizard, there we go. I completely forgot Radiant Charizard was even in this set. Can we double it up? Yes. Double Charizard pack. It finally happened. Double Charizard pack, Radiant Charizard and Charizard V, and here was the code. I had a feeling that this could happen as soon as I saw the way they put both of those in the sets, but right on, double Charizard pack. Let's drop the Radiant into a sleeve. It seems like I just can't pull a Radiant Zard with good centering though. I really want to start sending stuff to PSA, but all the all my recent Radiants have been a little off center. Let's drop you into a sleeve though. Definitely have both of those in the binder already, but I feel like the uh, the three pack blister curse from Scarlet and Violet has been lifted now through these Crown Zenith. We've got Larvista, Tangela, Ball Toy, Meowth, Whalmer, Crushing Hammer, and Glaceon V. One of the few Vs that I still needed to get into the binder. This has been awesome. I'm filling this up here. It, oh. There's the code. Let's drop this into a sleeve. Way more than I was expecting. Let's get into this Cinderace one now. Same thing, same layout and everything, but you're gonna get a Cinderace promo and pin instead of a Rillaboom or Inteleon one, obviously. And look at this actually wasn't as bad to open as I thought. Let's take a look at the pin. Very, very cool. I always want to call Cinderace Score Bunny. I don't know why. But that pin's awesome. Put you aside, get you up on the pin board later. Here's the promo for you, I think. Yeah, that was the right one. And three more packs of Crown Zenith. Let's keep it going. After this one, I might just open up all of the other pins so we can just blast right through them. But I feel like these are going to be the win today. Scyther, Pokeball, Young Goose, Absol for the reverse, and Rotom V for the rare BAM code for you. Already have the Rotom V in there. The other one I need to pull is, there's two versions of the Rayquaza V Max. I keep pulling the same one. So it'd be cool to get the other one into the binder. I don't, oh, can you imagine? This happens kind of frequently where I predict a pull. We've got coughing, Purloin, Rayquaza. Oh, okay, I saw the border and just for a split second thought that was about to happen. Regigigas V, bam, one that's already into the binder, but that's okay. Drop it into a sleeve. So, so many pulls from Crown Zenith. It's crazy. And already these three packs are turning out to be fire. Last one from the Cinderace. We'll get into the Inteleon one and then I'll just take all the packs out for the rest of them. We got Ponard, Seal, ah, Young Goose for the reverse, and Pangoro for the rare. They can't all be winners, but that was a pretty good one. Inteleon here, bam, really nice. I don't know. I like the layout of this. I like how sleek it is. It, you know, it, my brain goes crazy when I see three pack blister, but something just like, I don't know, kind of, kind of was hoping to get that nice, uh, thick pin box collection like they did for the other ones. All right, let's get this out of the way. Three packs here. Here is the promo, bam, Inteleon promo and bam, the code for it. Set you aside. Three more packs of Crown Zenith. So far, I guess, uh. Oh man, I already forgot. Who had the double Charizard pack? Was it the first one or the second one? I think it was Inteleon. That's winning the day so far. We got Scyther, Pokeball, Trekking Shoes, and Zara Aura V. Already got that one in there. There's a code for you, but just to, to get a pull instead of nothing, it's 
always a great feeling. There we go, setting you aside two more packs from this Inteleon one here, and then I've got one more of each to rip open to. You know what, I might even have to just do the whole box, I don't know. We've got Execute, Energy Retrieval, Emo Emolga, Love Disc, and Yan Mega for the rare. Now Crown Zenith still isn't over. We've got the pin collection, or the, the pins, we've got the figure collection, the Zacian and Zamazenta figure collection that's still coming out. I wanna say it's about a month away. I guess it's kinda cool how they stay the releases like that. Comfy, bam, one that's definitely going into the binder, and Tapu Lele Hollow for the rare. Bam, there's the code for you. But uh, I'm really excited to get those figure boxes too. Let's drop these into a sleeve. It's cool how they did the release a little staggered. Oh, was that? That was all of them for that one. Did I drop a pack? Okay, I'm gonna take the rest of them out of the wrapper. All right, nine packs left from these last pin collections here. Honestly, these pins definitely saved the day. I don't know. I, that last opening of all the Scarlet and Violet, I was feeling pretty sad about the three packs. I was like, you know what? Maybe I have to stop saying such nice things about three pack blisters. Oddish, Deoxys from the Galarian Gallery, and Friends in Sinnoh, another one that I needed in the binder. I've already lost track of how many I've added today. It, at least like three, I think now. Let's drop the Deoxys in a sleeve, bam, and let's drop the Friends in Sinnoh. Little off center, but that's okay. It's just going into the binder. Drop you into a sleeve as well, bam. Filling it up, filling up the Crown Zenith binder. I think I'm gonna actually end up finishing Crown Zenith before I finish Shining Fates, which is pretty, pretty insane. There's about, uh, 17 cards left that I need. I think like 16 or 17 baby shinies. Shining Fates is a huge set. I easily opened around like four to 500 packs and I felt like I had almost pulled it all, but there's a long ways to go. But Crown Zenith, totally different story. Matang and Whale Lord. All right, code for you. Let's keep it going through here. A couple more packs. I can't wait for those figures though. I don't know why. It's gonna be gonna be pretty pretty awesome. Let me know out there too, how far complete with Crown Zenith are you guys just from opening? Have you been able to open and pull the entire set? Shirubi and Whale Lord for the rare, another code for you. Let's see, three, four, five. Five if I can count, packs left, counting this one. No gold yet today, that's okay. One of these days, I'm gonna get that gold Arceus. And what do we got here? It's the Manaphy, another one that I needed in the binder. This is insane, adding so, so many that I needed. Another code, and let's drop Manaphy into a sleeve if I can. Bam, bam. That's crazy, it's like, I felt like I was pulling a lot of duplicates and a lot of the same things from the ETBs and stuff that's been out so far, but I'm getting like all the stuff I was missing from these pin collections. We got Skrelp, Helioaptile, Galarian Meowth, and Oranguru. Oranguru or Oranguru? I feel like Oranguru just sounds cooler than Oranguru. I don't know. Let's open this next pack up if I can. Crown Zenith, as I'm struggling to open the pack, I'm about to say, Crown Zenith packs even open really easily. We've got Cricketoot, Chateau, if I'm saying that one right, Reverse Water Energy Hiding, Tangrowth for the rare. That's okay though, always happy with a hollow energy. Let's drop you into a sleeve, bam, Water Energy. I think there's just a couple more. I think I need the, the, um, the Lucky Leaf energies still in both versions, the textured version and just the hollow version to have them all. Okay, second to last pack. Let's see if we can get one more card in the binder. Coughing, Salandin, Purloin, <laughs> and the Raikou V going into the binder. Let's go. I can't believe it, but this is the first of the three legendaries that I've pulled out of that. I thought, oh no, wait. I pulled the Suicune. Okay, I totally take it back. Pulled the Suicune. Raikou V, there we go. Can we double it up with a Charizard V star? Let's go. Let Honestly, let's go. There. Oh, there's the code for you. Double Charizard pack today and a Raikou Charizard V star pack. I'm really happy with these tins. I can't wait to drop all of these into the binder. Another sleeve right here for the Charizard. Honestly, uh, no, it's a little off center too. I don't know what it is. I just can't pull a Charizard with good centering. Bam, and last pack magic here. You know what? For last pack magic, we'll go ahead and do the pack trick. Let's open this up. We'll do four from the back. 
kind of crazy not having to do a pack trick anymore for Scarlet Violet. Here's the code for you. We'll do one, two, three, four from the back to the front. And we have got Psychic Energy. This feels normal. <laughs> Prenturichin, Rescue Carrier, Shinx, Corpish, Ponard, Seal, Rock Rough. Shout out to Rudy. Ah, oh, AA Ron in the glaring gallery spot. Still a chance for something great though. Last pack magic from the pins. Ah, oh, it's just a Volcarona, but these were awesome, and I'm filling up this Crown Zenith binder. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post new ones every week. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here. Try, try that one right there.